Hey, Reggie. How's it going, man? Good, good. How are you? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. How, how was the audition today? It was really well. It was really well, thank you. Yeah, it's, it can can I ask what it was for? Or is that a secret? It's, I don't think it's a secret. I mean, no, I don't think it's a secret. It's for The Sinner. It's a Netflix show. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a small role, but that, I think that's all I can say. But it's for The Sinner. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad it went well. Welcome to the Eldridge Podcast. I'm so happy to have you on, man. Finally, after all the troubles we had. That's right. Uh, first of all, congratulations on on Black Summer. I mean, seriously, huge. I mean, it, I know you've done it for a few episodes. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about that, about some other roles you've done and other, other stuff, and, and, and you know, you about, about you yourself. Firstly, we filmed with Christine Lee the other day, okay? She was not aware, I, I want to see this with you as well, she was not aware that Black Summer was number one in the UK for Netflix. Did you know this either? No idea, no. Wow, okay, so that's, you You didn't know that either, right? Because we're filming with a couple of the, uh, overall I think we've got about four or five filmings with, with, with the cast of Black Summer, and by the looks of it, none of you really knew that it was number two in the UK, uh, number one in the UK, sorry. That is amazing, I had no idea, I mean, thanks for letting me know. Wow, I, I my pleasure, man. But. Um, Black Summer, talk to me. How, how did that come about for you? How did you uh, hear about the role for that? Well, first I was a fan. I was a fan of season one. When, when I first saw it, I'm like, I'm a fan of the general. Like, I, I'm, I'm a fan of zombies. And I basically, I basically consume anything zombie. If it's well done, great. But, yeah, there, there's, there's, a lot of, there, there, there's a lot of content out there with zombies that is not the best and I still consume it. I love it. So I was a huge fan of Black Summer season one. And then it's just basically my agent contacted me once and it's like there's this project with this character that I think you you can be great for it. Um and it's called Black Summer. And I'm like yes, yes and yes. Um so yeah we, I started with one audition and then basically that led to auditioning for Boone and, and I got it. Yeah, Boone was an interesting character. I mean, I instantly thought you was absolutely crazy. And I thought you was definitely going to get the two girls killed. I'm going to be honest. I thought you were leading them out. And I thought, but you know what? And then as it kept going, you guys got to the, to the, uh, to the ski lodge. And uh, I thought you was also going to kill them there. You know, that's the good thing about Black Summer. I think it's so unpredictable with characters and, and storyline. I mean, the beginning of season two, the first five minutes, the guys killed right. you. Survived season one, so you know, um, I think you played the character brilliantly. Um, well, speaking to Christine, she says there's a few similarities between you and your character, anyway. So I don't know if she meant good by that or bad by that. I'm sure she was joking anyway. But uh, for, for season two, especially, it's very cold where you guys are. I mean, the, the weather is—it's just snow and snow, isn't it? Really? Uh, did that? Yes. Was that was that hard to film in for you personally? I mean. I think with everybody said, there's always challenges. Um, the place was gorgeous. It was one, if not the one most beautiful set I ever been. It was just amazing, breathtaking, inspiring. Uh, we were in like all the whole time. Uh, it was cold, yes. <laughs> uh, but they took really good care of us. We had, you know, like warm pads. It's not, it was cold, but I never felt cold. Yeah. Um, it, and, and because of the characters, you have like a little bit of, this is why actors are so weird. We have, we could use it a little bit in our acting. And so I, I didn't mind a little bit of cold and the snow and the, the yeah. roughness of the place. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is as well, obviously, uh, I'll make sure that there's a spoiler warning just in case people haven't seen it, but I'm sure they have. Obviously, you die. Um, I, I think the two deaths that really got to me in, in season two was yours and Spears. Uh, I, thought, I thought you both would definitely survive a bit longer. I'm not going to lie. Um, that, that part, for, for that role you got, did you go in it, into it knowing you was going to die after three episodes or did they keep you uh, not in a clear? <laughs> No, 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 no. It was, it was, everything was still open. Uh, when I first read the, like the, the first episode three and episode four, and I'm like, this guy at some point for sure is going to get killed. Like, no way he's going to just make it through. Um, and it's funny because then after the launch, as I'm reading the strip for the first time, I had no idea. And after the launch, I'm like, okay, he's going to make it. Like, he's been through all this. He didn't get killed when they found the launch. He's going to make it. 
And then boom, I, I got that, the, I saw the scene and it's like, who are these people? I got so irritated. It's like, who are these people? Where they come from? Why, Boone, why? <laughs> I mean, did, would you, was you gutted that your character was killed off so soon or was you just like, oh, I'm, I'm happy to be part of it? I love Boone, oh, I love Boone. Obviously you don't want to let go of the, the character that wrote this, this good. Uh, but the arc was so good and it makes so much sense. And yeah, I, I, it actually, like right away came to me, it's just like, of course, of course he, he, he's, he's gonna die and he's gonna die this way. This is beautiful, this is perfect. And, and I love my death scene. I, I really actually, one of the most enjoyable death scenes I ever played. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people say uh, the makeup and stuff for being a zombie takes very long. How long does it take for all the makeup and stuff when you're uh, being a zombie? It was like, it was, it was close. I mean, the team was amazing, um, but it would take a little over an hour. Oh, wow, okay. And there's, there's two makeup artists working on me at the same time. Ah, oh, I mean, look, the, the, the thing is, season two, well, do you know what? Season one, like you, I was a big fan of. I, I do think season two was actually better than season one, though. I feel like there was a, I don't know, the story, because like, the storytelling, on Black Summer is amazing. I think the character mm -hmm. development is crazy. Um, there's a lot of surprises of characters who die, obviously, like yours. Uh, the, you know, and the Netflix production, it, it's, the production is crazy. The acting is amazing as well. For you, do you do you think this show could go on for a very long time, such as like, you know, you said you're a big fan. For me, I think Black Summer is the best thing I've seen since The Walking Dead, uh, which is it's big as, I know it's a big thing to say. I agree, I agree. Yeah, it's a gem. Do you think it could be as big as Walking Dead as as it goes on? I mean, it, it's hard to tell with this because the Walking Dead it obviously had it was a more of a commercial product, and so that can reach more people. Uh, I think Black Summer is a bit of a niche, and uh, but what that creates is a bit of a cult following, right? Like the ones that like it like it a lot. Um, for me, it's a gem. For me, it's like a classic in the genre. But, but I mean, it's it's it's, it's hard to tell with those things. I am hoping they that they continue with a few more seasons. Um, I really know what's gonna happen with the world. Forget just the, the characters. Like, what's gonna happen? Like, are all humans are gonna be gone? like? It would be yeah. nice to have like like some kind of closing with that, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping they, they continue. Yeah, I mean, same. Uh, just, just going off Black Summer quickly, uh, talking about uh, your, your other one, your, well, one of your other credits, you've got many credits, is uh, Fucking My Way Back Home, of course. Yes. Uh, tell, us a, tell us a little bit about that, because, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of videos, a lot of your old interviews, and, you know, that's, uh, that's a thing that's brought up a lot with you. But why do you think that's one of your credits that has brought up the most? I think, I think because the... The, the content is pretty raw. Yeah. You, you can tell by the title. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and it, it, it's very controversial. I, I play an evangelist, an immigrant evangelist, that uh, it's almost forced to drive a sex worker. So you can, you can just tell by the, those dynamics. It, it, it was pretty intense and, and a lot to process. And I think because it's, it was so raw and so open that that people are attracted to that. Yeah, I was. I mean, I was looking at your credits. I did do my research, but I can't remember the title of everything you've been in. But you was credited in a um, in a Ricky Gervais film. Um, yes. Yeah. What, who did you play in that film? It's a really silly film. It's on Netflix. It's called A Special Correspondent. That's his question. Yes, that's that was. I tried remembering the title. I done all my research, but I couldn't remember what the title was. Yes. It's a really silly movie. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm a villain. I, I kidnapped Ricky and Eric Banner. <laughs> um, but just it, watch it. It's, I'm, I'm a bit of a bad guy in that one. Did, did, you, get to, um, sorry, did you get to Sorry, did you get to spend quite a bit of time with Ricky Gervais at all for that film? Yes, yes, I did. And it was a blast. He is probably my favorite comedian. It's either him or Kevin Hart, I think, for, for comedy. Hands down, uh, like, yeah, same here. Yeah, they're amazing. I, I'm, I'm intrigued as well. Um, I, I want to ask you, where, where are you originally from? Where are you born? I'm originally from Cuba. So I was oh, born really? and raised in Havana, yes. Wow, what, what was it like there? 
It was, well, Cuba in the 80s and the 90s, it was, it was a phenomenon, for sure. And uh, so we, it was in the middle of like, you know, the Soviet era, which it was pretty surreal. Imagine, imagine like Eastern European communism with a tropical setting um, and the Cold War and being so close to the States and, and this is the eminent threat of the States being the enemy. And, and then the collapse of all that and the, the finance, the economic crisis and just, it was, it, it was an experience for sure. Yeah, oh, I'm sure, man. I mean, I, I'm suppose. Have you ever been to the UK before? I have not, and I'm dying to. Like, if it wasn't for 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 Corona, I wouldn't be there this year. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going. A, a lot of We're people from uh, it's interesting because, <laughs> excuse me, a, a lot of people from America or just who are living in America or near the states, they if they haven't been to the UK, they really are keen to go, which I'm quite surprised about being from from England because I don't feel like we've got a lot here really i mean we've got a bit but it's nothing really compared to to the states really but it's also iconic right like there's there's so much that has happened i'm a history buff so europe is 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 a walking museum i'm, I'm always amazed with with europe and, and taken by it so i can only imagine the uk i cannot wait so what, you said you're big on zombie stuff how, how big would you would you say you i mean are you talking films and shows? I mean, what, what would your top five films and shows be for it? For zombies? Yeah. Uh, yes, okay. So here we go. Um, yeah, I like them. I like them. I, I, I mean, I, I don't, don't follow them, but every single time there is a zombie show, I have enough that I get a chance to watch. I mean, yeah. I watch it. But um, I, I do have to say Black Summer. Black Summer for yeah. me is a gem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, is... It's, like you said, amazing storytelling. Um, the the way the camera just stays with you. The zombies. I remember on set, and we were all talking about the zombies, and it's like, yeah, yeah. If this was real, we will not survive. <laughs> like these zombies will get so. <laughs> um, so, um, train to Busan. Busan. What's What's the name of yeah, that? yeah, that's that's a. Uh, uh, I don't want to get the the nationality wrong. I believe it's a Korean film that's I got. Think it's Korean too. Yeah, I believe so. I'm not 100 percent on that, but I've heard that's a fantastic. That's the only one I've not seen. It's really good. It's really good, and those zombies are like trouble too. Yeah. <laughs> and have you seen Kingdom? It's another Korean show. It's a it's a TV series. Kingdom? No, I've not seen that. No. It's amazing. It's amazing. We're talking about. I think it's Korea. It is Korea. It's like medieval Korea okay. with all the politics and, and you know, the samurais, not the samurais, like you, with all the blades and the fighting, all that, which is amazing already, and all the honor code, and then you throw zombies at it. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant series. Um, I obviously love The Walking Dead. Yes. I, I really, and everything related to that franchise, because I think they changed the narrative on Zombie and made it a little bit more real. Yeah. Um, uh, 28 Days Later. Oh, crazy film. <laughs> crazy film. Crazy it's film. So, and even, even just the family dynamics, it's not just about the zombies. It's, it's, yeah, it's really well done. Um, oh my God, I'm, I'm actually forgetting names. I almost want to start Googling. It's just like, the, which the, one um, is one? We, we, we were talking uh, to Christine about this as well. And uh, so 28 Days is a big one. Have you guys seen 28 Weeks later as well? No, no, have I? What's, the, what's that one? 28 Weeks is where it's, it's still based in London, but the American military come over to help with the infection. Um, in my opinion, 28 Weeks Later is, is actually a more scary than 28 Days Later. Really, eh? I'm watching it tonight. If I, if I did, I don't remember. 28 weeks later is is it's the, obviously the same zombie, same settings, different family, mm -hmm. time, different storyline, but it's so intense. That 28 weeks later is so intense the whole time. I gotta rewatch. I think I watched it, but I gotta I gotta see it again. Long time I ago. mean, there's also uh, World War Z, of course, is a big one. I don't know if you yes. Saw it. yes, yes, yes. I definitely. I mean, for me, it goes a little bit like it's not like I love it because there's zombies in it. Yeah, and and the action is amazing and. But for me, it's not one of the tops. For some reason, it, it may be the story. Maybe we used to like all these TV series, giving all these amazing arcs. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, for me, it's I liked it, but it's not like I'm not huge at, uh, what, about it. What about uh, Shaun of the Dead? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> I didn't know you might have you might have like the serious uh, realistic zombies. I didn't know, but no, 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 no. I mean, that's a, that's a classic. That is it's so well done. It doesn't matter if it's a comedy or not. It's so <laughs> silly, so so funny. Um, um, did you? I'm guessing you saw that Simon Pegg really enjoyed uh, Black Summer. Did you see that? Say that again. Uh, Simon Pegg. Uh, he he said he. Yes, really that was amazing. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. That was I, the best. I think I think the whole cast uh, since that happened has been so buzzing about that. What what did what was your first thought when you saw that? My first thought is like, what? He's watching? He watched it? <laughs> like that's amazing. So he's seen it all. Like he watched it all. That's amazing. <laughs> um, it, yeah, it was. I was honored. I was honored that that, that he liked it so much. Yeah. But also, obviously, you, know, you do a lot of acting and stuff. What do you like to do in your spare time? Sports or, or anything? I love sports. Um, as a Cuban, I love baseball. Yep. It's, it, I'm, I love is actually understated. Like it's, I'm passionate about baseball. Um, and then I live in Toronto, so in the winter you can play baseball. So I try to stay active, like playing badminton. Okay, yeah. Um, I walk a lot, I meditate a lot, um, I bike a lot. That's pretty much it in terms of like exercising. Yeah. Are they all the ones you watch as well, like in terms of like baseball you would watch on TV? Are they, yes. Is that the only one you I, watch? Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh yeah, no, I follow, I follow baseball. And I'm a, I'm a Blue Jays fan. I live in Toronto, I've been living in Toronto for 20 years now and I'm a Blue Jay fan. I don't know baseball. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's not big here. We don't have baseball here. Oh, I gotta say also congrats on the, I mean, I know it's second place. It was an amazing game. It was an amazing game. I actually, I, was I thought you guys had it the whole time. I thought, I also thought we had it the whole time, but you know, it, it, it is, it, it happens. It happens, you know, I, I mean, we was in a, a little bar in my local town and you know, it was just a great experience, but you know, we fell short, so. It, it is what it is. I mean, you understand. You follow. I don't, I don't know how baseball actually works, to be fair, but I'm sure it's. It might be that. The excitement is probably yeah. similar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, you say about coming to the UK, etc. Do you think it would be really cool to film something in the UK in the future for you? That would be a dream. Oh, really? That would be. A, would be I mean, I, I, I love British television and, and film. So is that? Sorry, is that a question? Yeah, 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 right. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, I would love to do any kind of work in, in the UK for sure. Do you think in a, I'll use Black Summer as an, as an example for zombies. Do you think you would actually be able to last that like quite long if it was a real apocalypse? Like a zombie apocalypse? Yeah. Like a black summer zombie apocalypse. Like, like the zombies are exactly the same for so as soon as you're dead, you turn into one unless you've been shot in the head. I mean I think I think I mean going back to Boone and actually going back to Black Summer because it, I wouldn't say yes, yes based on other movies and based on other series. Yeah. After Black Summer, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore because I just see that oh you go to this mall and like, you close it down like you always as a zombie fan you have these strategies that you make up in your head but you're always winning because zombies are slow and you know, somehow you can control everything. With these zombies, I don't know. Also, is a, there's a people aspect too, and people going completely ballistic. Yeah. Um, I I actually. I started working on Boone and I started obviously trying to find a logic behind what he was doing to the point that I actually almost sympathized with it. So it's like, oh, this is not a bad idea. <laughs> so one of the things when I first got it, he, he wasn't presented as, as someone with mental illness or like about to lose his mind, but assuming how long he's been hiding and by himself completely, you can be like you, you can be sane anymore. You ha either have to be losing it or on the brink of about to lose it. So 
I don't know anymore. There's, there's, there's almost like all this luck aspect to it. But then it's like really making that decision. Are you gonna like? Be, are you gonna be like own? Oh, are you gonna hide? Uh, um, are you gonna or are you gonna just pick like like what Rose has done that it's just basically become completely ruthless, right? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know at this point. I'm, I, I I don't know. I gotta think. I gotta think about it. I'm pretty, you know, biased and confident. I'd say I'd last quite a long time in the zombie apocalypse. I don't know. I'm quite big on zombies, though. It depends. I mean, you know, when I first saw Black Summer, I was thinking, like, man, you die, you're a zombie. Like, it's, that's kind of it. It's, it's, there's no getting around that, really. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, it, as, as you said, it's, you, could, you might be the person who hides. You could be the person who's just killing ruthlessly. Like, you don't know. You really don't know. So I'm a bit biased and say I'm confident. I was right. a long time, but then, you know, realistically... I probably wouldn't survive very long in a zombie apocalypse, if I'm being honest. But yeah, yeah. Who, who knows who, who you encounter? Like this, and when? Like where are you? Where? Where and how? What you're doing when the zombie apocalypse happens? I always think of scenes of like people go to the washroom a lot. You go to the washroom several times a day. So it's like, what? What if it happens at a really inconvenient time? Or you know, it's those things. So much taken to account for it, really, isn't there? Um, you know, I, I was talking to Christine as well the other day, and, and I have a theory on this, but if it's wrong, please tell me, because she couldn't correct it. <laughs> okay, Spears, is he definitely dead? I don't know. Boone was sleeping that through that whole scene. He was drunk sleep. Sorry, it's a silly, it's a silly answer. I am... Um, I mean, he seemed pretty dead to me, but with this show, you don't know. There's you so much. That. There's so much that happens that that can happen. Um, but he seemed pretty dead to me on season two. I do you know what? I don't think he is. Like he might be. I want. I want someone to tell me he's dead because for me, I was watching it and I was just like, there was no like. Okay, yes, you see him on the table. But there was no bullet hole in his head. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't know, if he's dead, he's dead, I'll accept it. But I just don't, like you, you know, you know, there was a bullet through your chest and then you got up as a zombie. We know you're dead. We know mm -hmm. you are dead. Mm -hmm. So like, at least you could, you're like, you're like, okay, he's definitely gone. Spears, I don't know, I wasn't convinced. I wasn't convinced about his death. Also, the, di the director or, or the producers and the writers, you know, the way they film Black Summer is, it's, it's almost like they they want everything to be unpredictable as well. Like, sorry, excuse me. Um, yes. If, if there's a if there's a pan, a slow pan, or a close up on someone, I'm just there thinking we're about to see someone get shot in the head or something, and or this person is going about to about to die, or you know. And each character has at some point a close up on them where you're like, oh, they're they're dead here, they're they're gone. And I think it's such a such a suspenseful show, and. You know, it's like, your, you know, your character as well. I don't think anyone really, I didn't expect your character to die when you did die. I think it was more, it was either going to be a ski lodge or well later on. I didn't expect it to be when it was. Mm -hmm. And that's the same with, Sp when Spears asked to be shot and he was laying down, you know, an example I give, because um, I'm quite big on horror films, um, Scream, uh, Scream 4. I love the Scream franchise. I love the horror franchise. Uh, at the time, director Wes Craven, he made sure um, I'm not sure if you've seen the Scream film, so I'm going to explain the scene to you. Uh, so, uh, I've seen some, I've seen some. I've seen some. Oh, okay, right. So in, in Scream 4, uh, a woman is, is stabbed and the camera pans away from her supposedly dead body. But um, mm -hmm. just at the very, very last second, her, her finger does a little twitch, that's it. And it moves away. And Wes Craven, the director at the time, uh, done that. So, uh, so there could be a storyline on her survival, which you don't see and, unless you might be able to see it later on in the movie. And I was thinking, we didn't see a bullet hole in Spears' head. So maybe there's kind of that effect where, you know, it pans away, we think he's dead, and the next season, boom, he's there, you know? That's an excellent point. That's yeah, an I excellent just, point. I just don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm a big, you know, big, like, nerd on, on films and shows, so I take a lot into, you know, sometimes I can think of something that I think is a good idea, but it turns out it's just rubbish and it's not, like, I mean, Spears could just be dead. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, and I don't know if this is related, the way the process went, it was one of the most amazing, if not the, the most amazing process I've been, because obviously we had, we had a script, 
and we had scripted scenes. But the way uh, John and Abraham's work is that you show up on set and depending on, on, on the performance and, and what makes sense and what has been making sense until then, we change a lot and we have a lot of freedom. And, and my scene partners were amazing. So we were able to play a lot. Yeah. Who, who was you closest with out of the cast there, sorry? We, we all become family, right? Such an intimate uh, work that, that, yeah, you become really, really close, basically with everyone I work with, from, from Jenny to Jesse to every, everybody, everybody. Um, and, yeah, you, you create a, a bond, for sure. Um, but the most close I got it was uh, with Jesse, the guy that plays, the play, uh, plays Mans. Yeah. What, what was your relationship like with, 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 um, with Jamie, especially Jamie and uh, Zoe? Because you had to, you know, you know, as well, that particular episode. I'm curious because a whole, a whole day of filming, like, how, do you fit a whole episode within a day of filming? Or does it take um, a couple of weeks to film one episode? How long does it take to film roughly an episode or two? I mean, it depends. The, the thing is that because I'm not in the full episode, you got like these little bits. Yeah. So you know you you don't see the the when the whole episode is 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 being filmed, and and they were able to do chronologically a lot of it, but not all of it. It was like that. So yeah, with that episode, my beats the ones I'm in, uh, it took us like about a week. Oh wow, that's a yeah. long time. You know, I thought it would be like a day or two. Oh, no, 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 no. We took, we took our time in terms of, like, you know, we, we couldn't, just because of the conditions and, and giving also the, 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 the we had a child on set, that so he that so was a kid. We couldn't film for super long hours. So we were, we were really, really limited to, to whatever we can get that day. Yeah, uh, you know what, as well, is, is, I just want to say this whilst, you, whilst you're here. Um, I'm going to call it now. I think Black Summer will have about five, six seasons, five or six seasons, I think. And I believe, I mean, I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. It's going, mm, it's got potential to be bigger than The Walking Dead. And you know what? Um, the, the fact you, you, no one knew it was number one in the UK makes me believe you guys probably don't know how much praise it's getting over here. But it's... No idea. It's no crazy. Idea. The, the love for Black Summer is so big i mean everywhere i mean i've seen it a lot in america especially but in england i'm on you know on facebook instagram there's there's fan pages of everyone all of you have a fan page or i like, gotta find this is amazing yes, there, it's everywhere it's, every food i go on it's it's um either a black summer cast member um an episode wow. of black summer or you know it's huge i mean the thing is it's i think especially in england as, as we've been craving zombie new zombie mm -hmm. content here i think everyone has but we we haven't really had anything since the walking dead i mean yeah there was world war z which was good uh 28 weeks later was well before that so it's been a long time been a very mm -hmm. long time and i think i think you and the whole car should be absolutely proud of yourselves and the and the production because it's it's for oh, it's honestly it's phenomenal uh i couldn't praise you guys or the production enough I can't wait. I mean, actually, do you know there's going to be season three yet? Or have you not been told? No, no. The, I think no one knows yet. Oh, I, oh, wait, I, I, need, to, I need someone to know so I can know. <laughs> I mean, I, I would love um, for season three to come out, you know, next year maybe. And, and they don't kill off so many main characters. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it's just... The fact that it's been so recommended um, here in the US uh, and and I'm sure in other countries, there's no way it's just them too. You know, did, did you think it would get this big um, as it is already? Not really, not really. I mean, you, you always, you don't really think that as an actor, you just do the work. Yeah. Um, and then that comes after. It's, I, I, I knew it had a following from season one, but, I really had no idea what, uh, it, like it, it would be number one in the UK and, and people liking it so much. Um, yeah, I, I, 
I had no idea. And some people are recognizing me here in the city too from Black Summit. And I wasn't expecting that. I was just like, oh, what? Yeah, I guess it's my face. Of course people know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't expecting that. I thought because it's character work, people wouldn't be able to put it together. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it, it did come, it has come as a surprise for sure. Yeah. Just lastly from me, um, I wanted to talk to you a bit about, about comedy things, actually, believe it or not, because uh, there's, a, there's, a big, there's a big discussion at the moment, um, especially this year, about, you know, and as you said, you're a big fan of comedy or comedians, um, about what people should be able to joke about. I'm just interested to get a perspective of, of, of you, especially being an actor. Do, do you think it should be okay for people to joke and laugh about anything in the world, any subject? Do you, do you believe that? I'm, I'm interested to get your take on that. I think, I think there is a line. I think definitely there is a line to be crossed. Um, what line is, what that is, I mean, there's, some comedy is bound to make some people uncomfortable. Uh, when, when you're talking about, you know, marginalized parts of the population or, or, or you know, working class, things like that, you do, I, I think it's just bad taste to, yeah. to make fun of people that are struggling or, or you know, people that don't have it as good. Uh, it's not as funny or not funny at all. So I go from that. And then on top of that, you throw the making people uncomfortable or even having more connotations of normalizing certain things. Um, but also through humor is how we deal with a lot of things in society and how we say and get away with saying that a lot of things in society and help us reflect. So it's, I mean, the discussion is always there and you've got to be listening and, and hearing people for sure and know that there's a line to be crossed. So just got to be aware. Yeah. Exactly. When, when that line comes, comes across. For, for, do, the things you just listed was that was that pretty much your line for your kind of comedy sense of humor to the comedy i would do and and i would watch yes yes i mean i love ironies i love again pushing buttons and making make, make, making people think um i think offending people is what you're really trying to stay away from yeah uh making people uncomfortable all that is part of being an artist. Yeah. But you're not in, I, I, I believe you're not in the business of offending people. So if you have offended someone or like a group of people, because also humans react depending on the circumstances. And so, but if you offended a group of people, that is obviously something you shouldn't say or done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Manuel, thank you so much for coming on, man. I really appreciate your time. But uh, for Thanks everyone for watching, uh, all of Manuel's social media links will be in the description in the bottom. Uh, go check him out. Go give him a message about Black Summer. Uh, yeah, but again, Manuel, thank you for coming on, man. I, I appreciate it. I, I know all of you guys are busy, but yeah, you're finding time to come on, uh, especially the time zones for UK to, to US and or, or Canada, etc. cetera. So it's, it's, uh, we're just grateful. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. I thank you very fun. much, man. Thank you.